Well, hello, hello, hello to everybody in our Positively Teresa community. My name is Teresa Sanderson, and I'm your host here. And today we have with us a very special guest. We have Tiff Clem. Just one second. We have Tiff Clem, who is the owner of GetGo, which is a business um, get Go stands for Get Excited to Get Organized. And so I was telling her a minute ago that I could sure use her skill set, uh, probably more than she ever would want to know. <laughs> so Tiff, we're excited to have you here. And who don't know, our Wednesday Spotlight is kind of a special, um, special thing that we do. And what it involves is we like to spotlight <clears throat> women entrepreneurs who have depression, and who are making it in business anyway, just to do a couple things. We'd like to shine the spotlight on mental illness and more than that, probably mental wellness, but also the idea that women with depression can be successful as entrepreneurs. And I think that is just such a powerful message to share. So with that in mind, we welcome Tiff today. So thank you for joining me, Tiff. And why don't you tell us, if you wouldn't mind, just a little bit about yourself and your business? Thank you, Teresa. Um, well, like Teresa said, my name is Tiffany Clem and I'm a professional organizer. My business is Get Go, Get Excited to Get Organized, and I serve the Michiana area. Um, if you've never heard that phrase before, it's North Central Indiana, Southwestern Michigan. We call it Michiana. Um, I was born and raised here. Um, I currently have, I have an 11 year old son. Um, he keeps me pretty busy. He plays soccer and basketball and is obsessed with Fortnite right now. I have a dog and a cat in case you can, in case you heard the dog, <laughs> um, they keep me busy too. Um, I enjoy reading and watching movies and scrapbooking, painting, things like that. Um, that's also part of my self-care that I do with my mental illness, um, when I need to kind of zone out and just decompress, I guess is the best word for it. Um, yeah, I, I got my business started uh, about three years ago. Um, I was really for the past three years, really only organizing friends and family. I'd say about the last seven or eight months, I got my business off the ground and actually have like, um, clientele now that I'm serving. Uh huh. Wow. Well, that's pretty impressive, Miss Tiff. Great. Love hearing your story. All right. So, um, tell us a little bit about when did depression enter your life, and what was that like for you? I've had depression most of my life. Um, I believe I was diagnosed when I was eight years old. Um, I went through some trauma in my early childhood with my biological mother. Um, it was a pretty young age. Um, she just, she's a, she's an alcoholic and she wasn't a fit mother. Um, and my dad wasn't able to get custody of me until I was five. So that was like my first five years, my developmental years, um, where there was just a lot of, uh, nurturing that just didn't take place. So, okay. um, yeah. So we, uh, my dad and stepmom got me into a therapist, um, because I didn't understand why I didn't, like, I started losing interest in school. I didn't have any motivation. Uh, I cried a lot, didn't, and didn't understand why I was like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so they got me into a therapist and, um, when I was that young, I didn't like therapy because I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable talking about the things that I went through in my mm -hmm. early childhood. Um, I didn't like opening up to a stranger about it. So it, to me, it just felt very uncomfortable. Wow. So you were very, very young. Yeah. When you experienced depression in your life and, you know, um, my husband and I have our, um, middle daughter who has bipolar and that really came on for her in her early teens. And we just thought, you know, we have an unruly child. And oh little, did, little did we know 
you know, as time went on that she had some significant problems. And I just know she and I have talked since and um, it's, you know, that time for her was just a lot of questioning. Why am I like this? Why is nobody else going through stuff like this? You know, just a very, very painful time. So sounds like you probably went through some of that too. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty normal, no matter what age you start to realize something's not quite right. You get that feeling of why am I like this? Why, why, why do I have to go through this? Right, right. I'm sure the why me is just a yeah. big, big question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because even in our older years, I mean, dang, it's just hard. <laughs> right. It's just hard. So, okay. Well, share with us a little bit. One of the things I love to chat with people about is um, some of the things that you do today to take care of yourself and allow yourself to continue the work of your business. How do you take care of TIFF today? Um, one of the things that I love doing is grabbing some hot tea mm-hmm. and cuddling up with the book. That's one of my favorite things to do. That. Um, that's something that my stepmom instilled in me at a young age was the joy of reading mm-hmm. um, the different places that it can take you. So that's one, that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, admittedly, when my mind races, I don't go to reading because then I just can't, I can't concentrate on what I'm reading. So when that happens, um, I will, take a bubble bath, I guess is probably one of the things that I do. Um, I'll take my dog for a walk. I'll work all around the house. Um, when you're a homeowner, (laughs) I think we all know the the projects never stop. So, Mm -hmm. um, there's always something to do there. If I keep my hands busy though, it helps it. I'm sorry. My cat is going crazy. She always (laughs) likes in in my space when I am on a zoom call. Um, (laughs) well, she, you can definitely hold her, give her some love, whatever she needs. So (laughs) say hi to the world. Goodness. And now she's going to run away. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it kind of depends on what I have going on. If my mind is racing and I feel very stressed, um, it, it's got, I've got to work with my hands. And so I'll either do projects around the house, I'll scrapbook, I'll paint. Um, I'll, sometimes I write. Um, I don't feel I'm very strong at any of those things, but that's not the point. The point is for me to get my thoughts under control and to feel calm again. Um, There are also some great apps out there when you, like if you ever have racing thoughts, uh, which is pretty common when you have an anxiety disorder like depression. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a lot of, I know people that use Calm. I've used Calm before. Um, the one that I really like is called stop, breathe and think, and they're kind of, um, guided meditations that you can do, or sometimes it's just listening to nature sounds, but it's just, it's just like finding a quiet space and having someone help you focus Mm -hmm. on, even if it's just deep breathing, sometimes it's just deep breathing, focus in on a deep breath and let it out. And, um, that's something that I have to do a lot, especially on very busy and stressful days. I pause a lot, um, to make sure that I am, um, not reacting to my situation, I guess is the best way to put it. So, Mm -hmm. um, if I, if I find myself very stressed, I have a tendency to, um, maybe my tone isn't very good with someone. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's just, that's just not how I want to come across to people. So I I find myself pausing a lot too, and thinking about those guided meditations that help me like take a deep breath and take a step back. And, um, I probably have to say those are, those are the biggest things that I do. Okay. Okay. Well, those are great things. And as far as like, um, the kind of tea that you like to sip on and things like that, do you have any favorites? Absolutely. Um, I'm a big black tea drinker. So, I mean, you're, you're just your regular iced tea. I always have a gallon of iced tea in my fridge. Okay. Um, but for hot tea, I drink a lot of oolong. I drink, um, cause oolong with lemon is like one of my favorite caffeinated beverages. (laughs) Um, but I also like, um, some of the flavor teas that are out there. So, um, like 
lemon chamomile is usually, or, oh, they came out with a, they came out with chamomile with lavender in it. Oh, it, awesome. It is amazing. It's like <laughs> so the relaxation been, special, yes, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I love chamomile tea, hibiscus um, yeah. for just kind of bring that stress level down, you know, mm -hmm. get ready for bed and relax. Very good. Very good. So it sounds like you're really, you know, very in touch with your self-care. And I think one of the things that's very different for those of us who work with depression is that, you know, I feel like um, as entrepreneurs, it's even more important to check in with yourself every single day and own how you're feeling, right? Um, mm -hmm. So if it's less than 100%, ooh, how am I going to take care of myself today? Or if it is 100%, man, maybe I can get a little extra done, right? But, <laughs> but if we don't do the check-in, we set ourselves up, you know, for chaos. So sounds right. like you're really doing a great job with that. Now, this next question is a little interesting. Um, is there anything that you can share about your, your personal experience with depression that has been a positive in your life that you view as a positive thing that come at, has come out of it? Absolutely. Um, and it is a fantastic question. Um, I would have to say my depression has made me a more empathetic person. Um, it's kind of like when they say, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes back to, you know, when you don't judge someone, you don't know a stranger walking by or someone that you see um, because you don't know their story. You don't know what they're going through that day. You don't know where they've been, where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes, especially with depression, it takes everything a person has just to get out of bed in the morning. So mm -hmm. sometimes that's, that's the only win you need that day is, you know, Hey, I got out of bed this morning. I'm faking. I might be faking it till I make it, but I got out of bed this morning. Right. So, um, I think when I, when I meet people, um, in general, I feel like I, I just am very non-judgmental, I guess is the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. Um, I just try to resonate with meeting them where they're at now right. and what, like, if it's in a work environment, you know, what do, what, what can I do to serve you better? If it's in uh, like a social setting, like, you know, do they want to talk? Do they need someone to listen? Do we just want to share about the weather or mm -hmm. this crazy year that we've had? Right. Sometimes people just need an outlet. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. But I think empathy is something that uh, the world could benefit more from. So I think that's probably the biggest thing that I, that that's helped me or that my depression is, has formed mm -hmm. me into a very empathetic person. I love that. I love hearing that. And I do believe that, you know, our lives are created and built in such a way that every, every experience has something that we can yep. gain, you know, and I think depression is one of those that you would never expect um, that there would be a positive outcome from. But for me, my biggest change was I used to be very irritable. I was very high strung. I was a top achiever, you know, all this thing had a lot of stuff juggling, but I wasn't necessarily the nicest person I would have liked to have been to my husband, to my children. You know, I was short tempered, quick to anger. And now it's like, you know, God went in there and just disconnected a few things <laughs> and I'm a, I like myself a lot better and you know what? So do they. So <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, lastly, I want to ask you this before we have you share about your amazing business, what would you want the world to know? If there was one thing that you would want the world to know about depression or mental illness in general, what would that be? Hmm. Um, it's not a choice. Um, it's not something you can wish and make it better. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting help and even being medicated if that's what, if that's what it takes, because it is a chemical imbalance in your brain. Mm -hmm. Um,
I think that's probably probably it. Um, it's just so many people just think, oh, if you just change your mindset, if you if you just pull yourself out of it, if you just do this, if you just do that, you know, you don't, you don't have to be depressed. You're choosing to live that way. And it's, you know, I wouldn't wish depression on my worst enemy. It's, it's not, it's not a joke. It's not, it's not just a little bit of sadness. It is, it is, it completely takes over your life. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's probably my biggest thing is just don't let people try to make you feel bad because you're trying to do better for yourself by getting help professionally. Mm -hmm. That is the bomb girlfriend. <laughs> I just think, <laughs> I think that is a message that so many people need to hear. Um, and I'm with you. I wouldn't wish this on anybody, you know, yeah. um, and it's not something you can escape, but we, you know, and I, and I think because others say snap out of it, we wonder why can't I snap out of it? If only I was stronger, if only I was better, if only I was tougher, if only I had, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the guilt that comes from that, from not being able to snap out of it is just huge. It's Absolutely. a huge burden. So I love, love, love your message. That is, I've got goosebumps right now. I just think that <laughs> is just such a powerful, powerful message. So um, now what I would love to do is to take, you know, five minutes or so and just allow you to share with us about your business. And um, if there's any offer or promo that you want to share with our community, by all means, feel free to, sh to share that. And I don't have it in our comments yet. But if you'll email me the link to your website or a way for people to get in touch with you, I'm going to add that to the video post. Okay so that we can be sure people know how to connect with you. So the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so as I've said earlier, I'm a professional organizer. Um, the name of my business is Get Go, Get Excited to Get Organized. Um, you can find me on Facebook at, um, if you just do facebook.com, I think slash Get Go Michiana, it comes up. <laughs> okay. Um, it might be slash groups. I'll definitely message you the link though. Perfect. Um, but I can organize, I've organized, um, any space in a house. I particularly excel at small spaces because my house is only 660 square feet. Okay. <laughs> so I, I try to specialize in maximizing the most out of your space. Um, I've done pantry organization, closet organization, garage organization, home office. Um, I've even worked in some businesses, uh, working with like inventory and, cool. um, like backroom stock organization, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so a little bit of everything. Um, I got into my business because I just, I just have, I, I'm just good at it, I guess. And, <laughs> um, so I, I was like, well, you know, let me, let me try this and see what kind of need there is in my community. And so far the, um, response has been pretty good. Response was the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, I love it. That is so yeah. great. We definitely need people, you know, you're <laughs> you and Marie Kondo. What... <laughs> right. And the home edit Netflix has a new one um, called getting organized with the home edit. And it was really good. There's a lot of good information on that one too. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So I am doing um, a promotion. I am offering a um, free virtual consultation. All you have to do is like my Facebook page and just message me your email address. And you'll be oh entered my to gosh, win a, a free virtual that. consultation. <laughs> okay, so virtual consultation. Yep. And they It'll just right here on like Zoom. your Facebook page and send you an email or send you their email address, right? Yes. Yep. And they can yes. message me on my Facebook page. Yep. Oh my gosh, that is just crazy good. I cannot even imagine. So yes, after we finish today, um, I'll add your link to um, the comment area of this video, the description of it, so that everybody knows how to reach you and so that they can get entered in that um, and like your page and help you grow a little bit. Anything else that you'd like to share with us today? Um, not that I can think of. Okay. Well, Tiff, I want to thank you very, very much for joining me here today. Um, you are our second guest on the Wednesday Spotlight. So uber <laughs> excited to have you here. And I want to wish you an abundant success 
in your business as we close out 2020 and move on into the new year. So thank you for being here. And for all of you watching, please subscribe to this channel, Positively Teresa. You will get updates um, every Wednesday. We have a live interview with another woman entrepreneur with depression. We want to spotlight mental illness and we want people to know more than anything that it is possible to live a joyful and abundant life even with depression, there are, there are so many great things that we can do and overcome together. So thank you all for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful